Hi, my name is Haley, and my story starts out where I grew up in a church. Um, I always uh, grew up believing that there was God, and I always understood um, that I was saved when I was a child, but I never really understood what it meant to have a relationship with God until uh, later on in high school when we had a new youth pastor come to our church who really taught us what it meant uh, to have Christ as the center of our lives and how we can live in a relationship with Him and learn to love others uh, through growing in a relationship with Him as well. And throughout high school I began learning more about what that really meant to walk with Christ and how it meant to love others around me and how it meant to um, give up part of my life to better serve Him and to fulfill God's call in my life. Uh, but going into college I had a rough time trying to find my place in my faith where it wasn't just my parents and being brought up in the faith. Um, so I really started to learn what it meant more on my own as to why I believe what I believe. And uh, what I came to realize is that I believe in Christ as my Savior because He is my hope and He brings me joy in everything in my daily walk with Him and I know that I couldn't live without Him and having Christ as my Savior means that I no longer have to worry or carry my burdens or let fear uh, consume my life but rather have Christ bring me joy, bring me hope, and bring me peace and that's why I'm being baptized today is to show that I want the whole church and the whole world to know that Christ is my Savior and that's why I choose to follow Him. Hey North Star, I'm Ryan Frost and I'm getting baptized today. Uh, growing up I was, I was a Christian, um, I went to church, but I never really knew what it meant um, to follow Jesus. I would, I would pray, I would sing the songs, and I would memorize the Bible verses, um, but it pretty much stopped there. Coming into college, I thought I had everything figured out from my, my career plans to my major to my relationship, and I thought I was happy. I thought everything was going great. Um, then I started getting involved with InterVarsity Christian Fellowship. I started learning more about who God was and what God wanted for me in my life. Um, it, was, it was then that I started realizing where my life was headed was not where I wanted it to. I wasn't happy with the major that I picked, with the career goals that I picked, with the relationship that I was in. Um, but at that point, I didn't know what else to do. I thought I was stuck. Um, I, I started losing the purpose that I had for my life, and, and I didn't really know where else to go. Um, I needed to find that one thing that was consistent in, in a world full of inconsistencies. And the more I learned about God, the more I realized that that was Him. Um, the more I realized that I couldn't make it any further um, without trusting in Him and without trusting the plan that He had for my life. And that's in those moments, that's when I realized that, that I needed to give my life to Christ, that I really needed to, to take that step. Um, and that's what I did. I started, I started waking up with, with that purpose, not in my job or my career, but in Christ. I started waking up with that peace of mind, knowing that regardless of what happened, regardless of what happened in, in the rest of this world, that I was okay because I was in Christ. Um, I, started, I started not to have those doubts, not to be worried about where I was going to end up. Um, and that's, that's all because of Christ. That's, that's when I gave my life to Christ, that everything started to turn around. Um, I'm finally happy. I'm happy with where I am, who I am. Um, yeah, that's, that's just really, it's really a testament to the people in my life um, and, and to be able to see where they've taken me um, from the people within our varsity to, to my family, um, to my girlfriend, Michaela. Just the, the strength that they've given me, is, it's been an incredible testament of, of Christ in my life. Um, and that's that's why I want to get baptized today. I want to be able to make that take that next step. I always told myself that I would get baptized after I committed my life, um, but it was something I just kept pushing off, and I never really I never really took seriously um, until I started realizing that that's what God was calling me to do. That's what step I needed to take, and so that's what I'm doing today. I'm taking that next step of faith, um, and, and I'm getting baptized. Hi, North Star. My name is Michaela Ginnerty, and I want to be baptized today to show that. I have committed my life to Christ. Um, I was baptized as a baby and I grew up in a more traditional church. I always had faith in God and Jesus, but I felt like I didn't really know that much about them. It wasn't until I came to Virginia Tech in 2012. I joined InterVarsity Christian Fellowship and 
I really learned more about what it meant to have a relationship with Christ and go beyond just believing in Him. I learned a lot more about the Bible and I got involved in a small group um, and my faith really began to grow. Um, I learned more about what it meant to live my life representing Christ and even though I was growing in my faith, I wasn't really living that out. I wasn't really trusting in God and I felt like I had to be in control of my life and where my life was headed instead of trusting in Him. I was put through a lot of trials and I suffered through some abuse and I felt like instead of turning to God and trusting in Him, I felt like I could fix things on my own. And it wasn't until I was brought to a point where all that sense of control was taken away from me and um, I really realized that if something didn't change then I probably wasn't going to survive and that's really when I put that trust in God and I committed my life to Him and things pretty much automatically started to change for the better. It definitely wasn't easy, but the life I live today definitely represents him and I know today I'm living the life that he intended for me instead of living the way I was a few years ago. And I really have my friends from InterVarsity and my boyfriend Ryan to thank for just helping me grow in my faith and realizing that I wanted to be baptized as a proclamation of my faith. So Haley has already met with Neil and she's shared with him her faith journey and her story. And Haley's already asked Christ to be the Lord of her life a long time ago. And so Haley, it really is my privilege today to baptize you as my sister in Christ. And today I baptize you in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Buried with him in death. Raised to walk in newness of life. <laughs> Kayla, it is also my privilege to baptize you in the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Buried with him in death, raised to walk in newness of life. And Ryan, I get to baptize you as my brother in Christ, and I baptize you today in the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Buried with him in death, raised to walk in newness of life.